Hey, it's Brezzo, and this is Wolfenstein Uber Difficulty Walkthrough Slash Collectibles Guide, Castle Part 1. So, the first piece of uh, collectibles for this level is uh, right here at the beginning. And uh, in order to get inside the castle itself, you're going to have to do some sniping slash clever improvisation. Well, I tried to sit back here and snipe these guys out, but this weapon is so fucking inaccurate that it became uh, really hard to do. What you're going to want to do is um, try and get in that doorway underneath that gate and use your shield to repel the bullets because the snipers, they one hit with the car from there put me in a spot where uh, one bullet from any other gun would have killed me. But there's a veil pool behind you, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, so... Use your shield for cover, and you can actually run up here if you need to. But I kept trying to hit this guy, and I couldn't do it for shit. Alright, so I've given up on that strategy, and I figured I'm just going to move up. So put your shield back on. move up and as it turns out I ended up actually taking them out with those MP43 bursts. Oh that was close. Um so if anybody ever asked me what my favorite mission in this game was I'd definitely have to say it's castle because um this is the one mission in the game where you really don't feel like it's you against the Nazis. Like, as you can see, there's a ton of resistance fighters who have come along with us. The loading screen shows two truckfuls of them coming with you. So, um, they're here with you when you assault the castle. They're there with you when you're inside the castle. And they're there with you pretty much through most of this level. And it's really good because, like, while they're not the best help, they actually do help. As a matter of fact, there's one part of this level where I'm going to let them do a lot of the work. Alright, when you walk out, we're gonna have two new enemies. They have jetpacks and they shoot down like rockets at you. So, Alright, there they are. They're flying up in the air. What you want to do is either slow down time and pick them off real quick because they have almost no health. Or use your shield. Um, you'll probably take damage if they shoot behind you because of splash damage, but um, it shouldn't be significant enough to kill you. Uh, there's only one point in this game where you'll actually fight more than two or three of them at a time, but they're not really an issue at that point in the game either. And there's an explosive barrel in there, so try and get a grenade in there. Oh, this new Meyer ability is badass. By the way, I didn't even notice it until about part three, that uh, the Veil Sight ability which allegedly makes it so that you can see guys through cover, actually works. And I also have the uh, one that gives your bullets penetration with uh, if you turn on Empower. So I end up actually... I don't know what, what the rules are for cover with the Empower, but uh, if you could see them through the wall, you could probably shoot them through the wall. Don't shoot that guy, he's on our side. I should really learn the names of the enemy types because I, I, I'm i gonna tell you that there's this green guy coming. Um, the guy who's the boss at the end of uh, the church mission. So pull out your particle cannon or use whatever availability you want. Just don't go too far down there because there's a veil inhibitor way down at the end of this courtyard. I just picked him off at the MP43. He wasn't really aggressively coming after me. But you could fight him the same way we did before, get in there with the particle cannon. Uh, let him come to you, though, because, like I said, you know, fail inhibitors making things a bit of a pain in the ass right now. And they only put it there because you need it to advance in the level. Alright, so, um, part three, not part three, part two, the next video. 
uh, I had issues with it. Um, if you guys look through my uploaded YouTube videos, uh, you'll notice I have I uploaded one uh, a couple hours ago called uh, Sony Vegas Issues. So I had part two of this video recorded and I threw it in Vegas and every time it um, the, the Vegas analyzes the video like twice whenever you load it in. I guess it's because it's giving you... I don't know what the hell it's doing but uh, every time I guess it's 29% done reading the file the program crashes so I had to go into my secondary gamer tag which I've already used once for another video uh, I can't remember which one right now. So, uh, the next video is recorded on a secondary gamer tag where I haven't been picking up all the gold, so all my weapons are significantly downgraded. Like, my car doesn't have a scope. Uh, I don't have all the veil abilities. But, this mission is still not that hard, as long as you have, um, just, just a few upgrades, like the scope on the MP43 at this point in the game is the most important thing, so... I made sure to get that because the iron sights in this level are not going to cut it anymore. So, um, at the end of this video we have 7 gold and 1 intel, and that's going to be the count going into the next... the next video. But, again, I fucked up also because I picked up a gold, so I get... so part 2 actually has me going in with 1 gold. level has lots of Nazis to be killing and you're gonna really need to rely on your veil powers so whenever you see a veil pool just stop what you're doing if there's nobody around and get in there and suck up as much of that shit as you can because you're really gonna need it this time and most of the levels it was um it was just this uh like handy thing that we had but we're, uh, from this point on it's really gonna be our crutch like this this game is not too hard on uber difficulty, but um, you really need to be able to use any of your availabilities on the fly. And you'll notice that I end up spending a lot of this uh, level in the veil itself just for the extra speed that you have. Okay, so this is pretty much going to do it for part one. I'll see you in part two.